we're in the Dreamweaver stand. We're at Surfaces 2013. I'm with Gary Hollowell. And Gary, um, I don't know if people can see it, but right behind us there's a mob scene. And, th and this, this place just opened. Yes. You're a hot property. Yes, we are. You know, we've got uh, well over a couple hundred appointments confirmed today, and uh, I think even more tomorrow. Uh, we have 30 of our salespeople here, uh, which is about two-thirds of our sales group. And uh, we're just really excited. We uh, doubled the size of our space this year on anticipation of uh, having a big market. And candidly, the pure soft, uh, the pre-launch that we started three to four weeks ago has really generated a lot of activity in the space. Talk about uh, pure soft, the product. Pure soft is a collection of eight products, um, uh, solids, tonals, uh, some multicolor, and then LCLs and Lupal. Uh, Basically, the concept behind the product is to keep uh, passing along the cost uh, savings that we are as a manufacturer into this new category, which, is, as everyone knows, has really taken over in the industry. Soft is the, the hit right now. now. Now, with all the soft, ultra soft, really, products out there, where does this fit in the scheme of things on an average retailer sales floor? What we tried to do is position product that they could buy and retail from $1.99 a foot to $3.99 a foot. And that doesn't exist really out there in the market today. So we focused on hitting price points for the retailers that don't exist. So you know, most of the retailers that are supporting the soft products out there start somewhere at the, at the low, maybe $2.99 a foot. But most of them are well over you know, $3.50 or higher. So we, we focused on bringing in you know, the, the cost synergies as, as engineer floors Dreamweaver, then passing that along to, the, to our retailers. Well, it seems like you really tapped the need, um, as we can see here, and just by the growth of this company. Talk about the growth. The well, company. you know, yeah, you know I've, I've been here two and a half years, and uh, I remember I first got with Dreamweaver, and then we started our relationship with Mr. Shaw at, at Engineered. Uh, then we, you know, they acquired us a year ago, obviously, and... Uh, it's just been phenomenal growth, and what we've done is we've been able to support um, the brand growth with hiring some, some of the best people. I think we have a lot of pros in our sales organization, and there's a lot of talent on the street, and we took advantage of that, and they helped us be ultra-successful very quickly. It's just tremendous growth, and uh, you know, in my past, I've been part of companies like this before, and it's just very exciting. Well, it is, a, it is a remarkable story having Mr. Shaw, I don't know that he was ever really in retirement, but uh, uh, stepped down as the chairman and CEO and, and came to do what he did. I mean, it's, it's absolutely an amazing story. It is, and today we have two exceptional manufacturing facilities, state-of-the-art, nothing like it in the world. And really, when you think about it, it's probably, uh, it is, you know, I think the first major plants built in our industry in 30, 40 years. I mean, it's, I mean, think about it. And, you know, everything we've done is uh, the best equipment that you can buy, state-of-the-art, uh, everything that's given us the efficiencies to make a high-quality product. And that's what the success behind Dreamweaver and Engineered is, the quality story. We, we just make a quality products uh, when dealers comment to us that, you know, we're the most profitable, low-cost supplier they have because they don't have problems with our products. It's, that's a great, great thing to be part of. Well, I guess in an industry, and I don't know what the average age of machines out there is, but you obviously have the most efficient organization and, uh, and uh, facilities in, in, in the world, I guess. We do, and with, uh, you know, the technology we put in, there's, there's a lot of, you know, we say, 400% in energy cost versus a typical mill because everything is so much more efficient. Uh, we don't dye our product. It's all solution dyed, so we don't have any wastewater. Um, so we kind of have, a, I guess you could call it a green story, but, uh, you know, it, it, we have a great energy saving story with our company, and, you know, we're all very proud to be part of it. It seems like polyester fiber is growing like mad, really. Um, in this industry, where do you expect it's going to go long term? Where, where, where will you say it is now? In the 40s? Or 40 percent? It depends on the category. In some, some categories, it's high as 70 percent of the business. 
Um, I think when you look at stocking retailers, it is at least 70% of what they offer, maybe even higher. I know on the multifamily side, it's become a gigantic part of the business. And, you know, polyester is the, the growth fiber in our industry. And it's, it is growing it leaps and bounds, and um, we're a huge part of that growth. And it's, it's the fiber of choice, and uh, we have built what I think is, I know, is the, the best polyester fiber in the industry. It, it solves all the problems for customers that, with solution dye technology. What about capacity? Uh, we have plenty of capacity. We're, uh, we've uh, expanded uh, uh, into Dalton uh, a year ago. Uh, and we're currently expanding that plant, which is going to be larger than our Calhoun plant. So if uh, they buy it, we'll ship it. That's the best way to put it. Could I get you to sh show us some of the products? Absolutely. Okay, what we have here is we have basically a good, better, best entry level, uh, what we call an entry level for this category, which uh, offers 16 colors in the line. Then we step up to what we call tonal solids. Tonal solids is a trademark that we just put out where we take and create a barber pole and space style look with solids that is really unachievable from a dyeing process. And then we also uh, have offered uh, a series of three LCLs and then a, a uh, what we call a wool loop pile, which has wool light colors, all in soft fiber. We have a, what I call an organic, a check, and a tree bark type style in the LCLs. And we're basically shooting at what really is driving business in this category. These are what we would call go-to products for retail.